Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new series. So I actually asked you guys on Snapchat, Twitter, and on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a new series that I wanted to start. And it is called Wallen on a Budget. So it's pretty much going to be me talking about products that are very similar to each other, would be considered dupes or just pretty much along the lines of something that is more affordable where you can still ball on a budget and you can still look freaking glamorous AF. We all know the struggle of having to pay for a high-end product and then you come and find a dupe or a better alternative to that high expensive products and that is the case today my ladies. I have found a product that is eerily similar and I am so happy to be sharing it with you girls. So if you guys are interested in seeing what products I am talking about and if you guys want to be balling on a budget then just keep on watching. Okay guys so I'm going to be talking about two products that I think are very similar. I would even consider them dupes. These are the two products that I am talking about today. This is the Sudan Mac Fix powder and this is in the color NC42 and this is the BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro powder. This claims to be a matte finish press powder versus this one is a powder plus foundation. Now first things first that I want to talk about is obviously the packaging. The packaging is very very similar. As you can see the MAC one is round, it's black, it's kind of bulky and the BH Cosmetics one is also matte black and it is bulky. The only difference is that this one has a little bit more of a design to it. When you open it, this is a MAC one, you obviously get your powder and then you get a mirror. You also have your product in here and then you also get a mirror. With both of these products, you actually get a little sponge. I lost mine from the MAC one, but I still have this one from BH Cosmetics. And it's just your normal blotting powder, or not a blotting powder, but it's a sponge that you just use this to apply it. I am not a fan of these. I actually like to use a big brush like this one. This is what I like to use to apply my powder foundation because it's just so big that it kind of gets the job done very quickly and I don't have to be like stamping it all over my face. These are the two colors compared to each other. I hope that the camera doesn't make a difference because in person they're very very similar. Now I am going to tell you that this one looks a little bit creamier, almost as if it was a foundation because it claims to be a powder foundation versus this one does look to be a little bit more on the powdery side. My matte powder is in the color NC42 and the one in BH Cosmetics, it is the color shade 235. So if you are in between NC40 to NC42, 235 or 234 I think would be a perfect match for you in the BH Cosmetics um, little powder. Now the difference is highly, highly, highly different. MAC is pretty expensive as it is. This one I paid for $28. That's almost $30 with taxes, which is insane because if you're not balling on a budget, like this is way too expensive. I I don't know what I was thinking. I just I think I just bought it just because I wanted to try it out. And don't get me wrong, I really like it for but for twenty eight dollars versus this. I believe this is in between six and eight dollars. Now I have tested these out as far as like going a whole day with both products on my face, and I honestly can't tell a difference. Like they both wear the same. They both pretty much wear out the same. They're both really creamy. This one swatches just as beautiful as the MAC one. Now looking at the packaging, the MAC one actually contains a little bit more than the BH Cosmetics one. This one has 11 grams and 0.38 ounces and this one has 15 grams and 0.52 ounces. So this one has just a little bit more than the Beach Cosmetics one, but for me, I don't go through powders that much because I don't always set my face. I usually set it when I'm wearing more of a oily foundation that I know is going to make me oily or if it's like a dewy foundation or if I just feel like it's a foundation that needs to be set, then I will. But sometimes I don't set them. I did set it today just so I can review it for you guys and give you a demo on how they can apply, on how they apply and so you guys can see it for yourselves. I believe that is everything I hope I touched or you know I pinpointed everything that most people want to hear when you are talking about reviews. I really like them both but again if you are balling on a budget definitely go for the BH Cosmetics one. It's such an amazing product and I love BH Cosmetics. They were one of the first companies 
that kind of opened the gates for me as far as like the beauty industry they gave me such big opportunities as far as like sharing my work back when I first started on YouTube so they definitely have a special place in my heart and they have they really do have amazing products so definitely check them out let me know what other products you guys want to see me compare to each other if you guys like this ball and on a budget series definitely let me know give me a like and don't forget to subscribe also again leave me a comment and let me know what products you guys want to see as far as a comparison for dupes or things like that just give me ideas give me your opinions leave me a comment that is it for today's video guys I love you so much don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you chicas in the next video. Bye!